Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom with this week's iGaming News Update, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Good news for operators thinking of partnering with Las Vegas casinos for online gaming. Nevada is planning to roll out some of the lowest online gaming licensing fees in the U.S., according to a report by Vegas Inc. Nevada intends to charge interactive gaming applicants $500,000 for year one and just $250,000 per year to renew the license. Governor Brian Sandoval discussed Nevada's license fee plan at Thursday's Gaming Policy Committee meeting. This is a stark contrast to California, for example, which plans a whopping $30 million fee that would act as a credit against taxes on annual gaming revenue. SBR reported last week that IGT and Bally Technologies were among the first companies recommended by the Nevada Gambling Control Board to receive interactive gaming licenses. The first batch of official licenses could be handed out as early as next week's Gaming Commission meeting. Moving farther east now, Delaware is one step closer to introducing legislation that would allow for interstate online gambling. House Bill 333, dubbed the Delaware Gaming Competitiveness Act of 2012, will be voted on by this Delaware Senate. The legislation allows for internet gambling on lotto, video poker, keno and sports games under the supervision of a director who will be appointed by the Delaware Secretary of Finance. First-time Governor Jack Markle is a major proponent of the bill. We are attempting to arrange an interview with the de Democrat Governor to discuss the bill in more detail. And finally, in international news, the Spanish General Directorate for the Regulation of Online Gaming has released a list of 53 operators now licensed to operate in Spain. Will Hill, Sporting Bet, Paddy Power, Bwin Party and Bet365 were among the biggest name operators to be granted poker, bingo, casino and sports betting licenses, according to the report by EGR. For a full list of licensed operators, check the SBR Newswire.